Hey everyone, welcome to the Mobile User Acquisition Show. In the Mobile User Acquisition Show, we feature interviews with the smartest folks in mobile and growth who share invaluable, actionable, tactical insights on every aspect of mobile growth and marketing, not to mention some adjacent areas just as well. The Mobile User Acquisition Show is presented by me, Shamant Rao, CEO of the mobile growth marketing firm Rocketship HQ, and produced by Karishma Sundaram, our Superstar Content Marketing Manager at Rocketship HQ. Each episode includes strategies, tips, and pointers from the leading edge of mobile growth marketing that you can use to unlock tremendous growth for your app in a sustainable and capital efficient manner. One of the bigger changes that's coming with iOS 15 is happening mainly under the hood. This is very significant because this could very well mean there will be no self-attributing networks or SANS starting with iOS 15. Well, to be clear, there'll be no SANS except one, and I will explain that caveat in a bit. And this obviously has far-reaching implications for advertisers. As background, until this point, whenever a self-attributing network like Facebook, Google, Snap, or Apple drives an install. It does not share the install post back with an MMP. And this is true both pre-SCAD network and post-SCAD network. So here are the mechanics of how uh, SANS have worked with regard to attribution thus far. So when a user clicks on a SAN ad, installs the app, completes a post-install event, the SAN records the impression and click data associated with the user. For non-SCAD network traffic or, an, you know, this could be Android or just iOS-based non-SCAD network traffic, the MMP records the in-app data and sends this device level data to the SAN. That basically says, hey, this particular IDFA or Google ID made a purchase. If the SAN has impression and click data corresponding to the same device ID, so the SAN Facebook, for instance, might say, oh, this user saw the ad and the MMP says this user made the purchase. The SAN will basically claim the user as an installer and a purchaser. The SAN will report this claim to the MMP and say, hey, hey, MMP, which is, you know, uh, here's, here's an install that I drove because I have the impression record, I have the click record and the purchase record of this particular thing because you have the same device ID. The MMP, of course, then deduplicates this claim. And so they're like, yeah, Facebook, you probably sent me this user, but so did Snap. We'll figure out who had the last click and we'll give credit to whoever had the last click. Last click. But that does not stop the SAN from reporting all of the installs that they think they drove, all of the events that they think they, they drove, because they basically get to create their own homework and say, look, I don't care what you as an MMP say, I'll claim my own installs, I'll claim my own purchases. But uh, obviously this setup has changed a bit or, or a lot, depending on how you look at it with SCAD network, because there are no user level post install events. So for SCAD network traffic, unlike user level device IDs uh, and the purchases and impressions linked to them in the past, the SAN still records the click and impression data, right? They say, hey, this user saw the click, this user saw the impression because they have their internal user IDs they receive postbacks for installs and conversion values at a campaign level. So Apple says, hey, this campaign drove this conversion value. Apple won't say, hey, this user drove this conversion value. And Apple through the NMP will probably re will report that to the SAN, right? So the SAN is basically reporting on a SCAD network data because SAN says, Facebook says, oh, we have this much conversion values and this is mapped to maybe register add to cart or other events. So we will say this had five registrations because that's reported by a SCAD network. The SAN will also report model data for post install events. You know, for Facebook, this is at the ad set and ad level. For Google, it's at the campaign level as well. So uh, uh, th th this is basically the estimate of what the actual performance is because some of the performance data is obfuscated by a SCAD network, right? And Advertisers through MMPs receive this SCAD network data in aggregate form. 
So Facebook isn't going to give the MMP, the individual post back. So to say, hey, we had this conversion value, you know, we had a conversion value of 10, we had a conversion value of 12 from this campaign. Facebook's not going to say that. Facebook's going to say, oh, there are five registrations and that's it, you make do what you will. Five registrations from this campaign, we're not going to sort of give you the post backs to validate this in any sort of objective manner. So hopefully you see the problems and challenges with this approach. Primarily, you just have to take the SAM's word for whether the traffic has re resulted in a converting user or not. You don't have the raw post back to really verify this. Right? A lot of other ad networks do send these post backs to the MMPs, but the SAMs do not. Oftentimes, with you know, for instance, with view through installs, there's a gray area around whether a network costs an install or not. And oftentimes, SANS have been known to bulk up their install and conversion counts by including view through installs as well. That don't always result in, you know, installs or conversions. And of course, you, it's all, what's also true is that model data for SKAD network is, well, it's modeled and it's not objectively accurate. And if a network isn't held accountable for the accuracy of their data, you don't know what they're going to do, right? So it's, for example, there was one SAM that we know, they were intentionally replacing the null conversion values in SCAN network by zero. That's a huge deal. Null is not zero, right? Null is basically obfuscated by the privacy threshold. And obviously that they, these guys could replace those conversion values suggests that other bad actors could do this and far, far worse. Well, all of that is set to change with IS-15. With IS-15, advertisers or MMPs acting on their behalf can receive raw postbacks for SCAD network data. Of course, SANS can still claim installs or conversions as their own, but now they are required to account for it by actually sending the raw postbacks. So MMPs and advertisers can now objectively validate whether these claims are accurate or not. The other implication of this is that marketers can do an apples to apples comparison between networks, which right now they cannot do or they haven't been able to do just because the bigger networks like Facebook and App, uh, Google have tended to report some model data, which again, are not directly comparable. But the other factor also in the current setup is that lots of bigger stands have tended to run under the hood campaigns due to which they trigger different privacy thresholds as compared to networks that run campaigns directly on the SKAD network campaigns, right? And I think we talked about this on, on our episode about why meeting Facebook's 128 install a day benchmark still isn't gonna help. And that's just because Facebook rotates campaign IDs under the hood. And so their privacy threshold is gonna be far different from a different ad network. But with post iOS 15, that is no longer going to be the case. You know, right now you cannot ascertain objectively what's the number of conversions generated by a campaign and compare it directly to another campaign with a different network. But in the future, you should be able to just because you can, you have the raw data, you have the raw postbacks, or at least your MMP, and that's going to be a huge, huge deal. The one exception to all of this is going to be Apple search ads which is not going to run via SCAD network. This will be tracked via Apple's ad services API. And so Apple search ads will continue to be a self-attributing network. This is a, that is a different conversation altogether. However, iOS 15 solves this whole problem of measurement in a somewhat objective manner for all other sources, all sources other than Apple search. Ultimately, this is going to make measurement much less hairy and much less problematic. And that is something that we are definitely looking forward to as advertisers. Thank you. For more steps, pointers, and strategies from the leading edge of mobile user acquisition, subscribe to our YouTube channel right here, or check out our blog, rocketshiphq.com slash blog.